Hello everyone, welcome to Tiwi World channel. If it's your first time here you are welcome, if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting. In today's video too we'll understand why and how evil spirits and demons gain access into your home. No one has ever told you these things. It's not what a lot of people talk about. Don't ignore. I encourage you to watch this video and watch it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you. Jerry. I am back. Jerry. Jerry. Mom is home. Where is this boy? He didn't tell me he would be going out. Where did he go to? I am tired. I needed a glass of water. But where is this boy? Welcome back, Mom. Where have you been, son? I have been in this house for the past 30 minutes and you are nowhere to be found. I have been working and preparing for my exams in the study. Well Doni, son. I know how hard you study and I wish you success. Thank you, mom. I will just go back to the study. Before you go back, please get me a glass of water. Alright, mom. Right away? When is your sister coming back from her friend's house? She didn't mention any specific time. Put a call through to her and tell her that she should be back in this house by 4 p.m. All right, Mom. My glass of water, please. Sure. I have been looking for you everywhere in the house. I am cleaning up the kitchen before I retire to bed. What else do you want to do after cleaning up? Nothing. Why do you ask? There is this movie I have been seeing for the past few weeks now and it's very interesting. I want us to see the movie together. You will love it, I promise you. I don't want to watch any movie. When I am done here, I am jumping on my bed. If you are able to watch two scenes, trust me you will be addicted like me. I don't want you to miss out on this kind of interesting movie. I will come to the sitting room when I am done. Not the sitting room, I am watching in the study. Alright. I will join you. Don't miss out from this movie. What? I told you, very interested movie. This is not interesting. It's horrible. This can pass for a horror movie. I don't want to watch any longer. It's too scary for me. Come on, sis. Movies like this will make you strong and brave. You can be able to face anything. There are horrific creatures in this movie. There will be horrific creatures in the movie Nana. It's the story about demons and how you can get powers from them. Although it's fiction, nothing is real in this movie. I don't want to watch. Do you want to get powers from demons? Or what is the motive behind watching this movie? I already said it's fiction, it's nothing serious. It's just entertaining me. I am not interested in this kind of movie, I am going back to my room to sleep. I am in season 3 and I started few weeks ago to tell you how interesting the movie is. Good night, Jerry. Good night. Nana. Now, I can concentrate on my movie. That was so scary. Interesting. This looks like magic. I love that stunt. I love how the demons are exercising their dark powers. I love it. What is the time? Wow! It's midnight already. I have to go to bed right now. Mom must not find out that I am still awake watching movie at this time. Wow! I love that act. I will continue tomorrow. Where am I? Who are you? You said you wanted to be like me and that you would love to have my powers. Really? You can have all my powers. I am a cheerful giver. <laughs> Wow! It's all a dream. I would love the powers. You will get the powers. I am always with you. I saw something strange now, I am not sure of what I saw. Where is mom? She has gone out. I can go and continue with my movie. Something happened to me last night. What happened to you? Never mind. 
Do you want to join me? No. You can watch your horror movie alone. Wow! See how that girl invited the demon. I invite you demon into this house. Very funny and interesting movie. I love this movie. My bed is calling. No peace in this house ever again. What am I doing here? I am in for you all in your house. My head aches. My body aches so badly. What is going on mom? Are you alright? I suddenly feel sick from my sleep. Let me get you pain reliever. Alright. Thank you. How do you feel this morning, mom? I don't know how I feel. I still feel sick. I can't remember the last time I felt sick. I also had a nightmare yesterday. I can't remember the last time I had a nightmare. This is strange. You were very strong before going to bed last night. Why the sudden sickness? I do not understand. I never had any malaria symptoms before last night. I feel so sick. I think I will have to go to the hospital. I am now in charge of this house. Who am I attacking next in this house? <laughs> the first way demons and evil spirits gain entrance or access into your home is through watching demonic and supernatural movies and listen to the music which is composed of demonic themes. Avoid watching disturbing and violent movies. So many people do not understand the power of the mind. Demons can use what you watch to infiltrate your mind and home. What you feed your eyes with and what you listen to goes directly to your mind. It is what is engrossed in your mind that will start to manifest in your life. If you feed yourself with too much of horrific and demonic movies then you are automatically giving them space in your life. This world is spiritual, never forget that. Did you see how Jerry invited demons into their house without knowing? This world is first spiritual before the physical. It is what you feed your eyes with that is translated into your mind and that is what you become. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 But we all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. It is what you behold that you manifest and become. If you keep listening to spirit-filled Christian music and movies that are empowered with the gospel then you radiate the light of God. If you keep listening to the other way round then you will manifest evil and demons. Be careful of what you watch and listen to. Please, do not ignore. You can also opt for educational and positive content rather than negative influences. Where is the environment so dirty? Let me check whoever stays here. Hello. How may I help you? Please. I'd like to see the people staying in this house. My sister and I are the ones staying here. Can I see her? Sure. Sure. Come with me. Come in. Thank you. I am sorry about the house. I will try and tidy up when I am less busy. It's fine. The house is all right by me. Let me get my sister for you. I love it here. This is where I can abode. I am attracted to this house. I have found a habitat for myself and my friends. Are you sure this house is safe for us to dwell? I have been here in the afternoon. Everywhere is dirty and smelly which makes it a good habitat for us to dwell. Also, they are spiritually dirty, they are prostitutes, they live in sin. That is a good one. 
Nothing is stopping us from residing in this house. We love dirty places as evil spirits. Let us go and infiltrate this house. The second way demons and evil spirits gain access into your home is when you live your home dirty and trashy. Demons and evil spirits are often drawn to dirty and disorderly places. This is why you should always keep your home clean and tidy. Maintaining a clean and organized home can create an environment less attractive to negative spiritual influences. The message version of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 says go home and wash up. Clean up your acts, sweep your life clean of your evil doings so I don't have to look on them any longer. Say no to wrong. This implies physical and spiritual cleaning. Clean environment attracts good things naturally. Remember the saying cleanliness is next to godliness. Make your environment clean, physical cleaning, and also stay away from sin, spiritual cleaning. The third way demons and evil spirits infiltrate your home is through prayerlessness. Any house that lacks prayer altars will be possessed by demons and evil spirits. That is why you have to keep the prayer altar in your home burning at all times. Anytime you stop praying in your home, you are giving evil spirits legal access to your home. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 Praying without ceasing. The more you pray over your home, the more you are giving the angels of the Lord charge over your home. Don't ever stop the altar of prayer in your home. Let that altar of prayer keep burning because it's settling spiritual battles over your home. I encourage you not to ignore these things. God bless you.